Mental Fox here with more Atomic Heart for you. Thanks for joining me again. Someone on this couch over here. Somebody left a chirper in here? Let's pick this up and see what it is. It is a chirper. I don't think we've seen a chirper in a save room before. A totally awesome robo vacuum. This is a robot vacuum or robo vacuum. It's totally badass. Just look at it moving in slow motion. Okay, let's see. It's got an elongated body and very narrow shoulders, which allows it to suck up dirt in almost any area. Just look at all the trash everywhere. <laughs> but the robot vacuum doesn't give a crap. It just destroys all that junk and keeps on sucking up the dirt. Uh oh! Someone spilled a bucket of paint on the robot vacuum. But the robot vacuum acts like it doesn't even notice you got sticky paint all over it. Look at that fucker! It'll just clean everything up, and it'll just keep on sucking. Get it, Dimitri? That's how we need to open our fellow citizens' eyes to the amazing things we make here at the facility. Not your lame old, the Zaporozhia Automotive Factory presents model ROZGDFG20 or 40 or whatever. It's boring to death. <laughs> All right, then. Definitely related to the other chirper we heard outside a while back where the guy was complaining about how the uh, presenters here were boring. Guess this is like a break room or something at some point. Well, it's a very strange end to the last episode, I feel like, where we ran into this Tereshkova here and proved to her that we were human by doing the Darwin test and then found out that she can't start the drill here anyway. Needs another Tereshkova to do that. And the only other Tereshkova available is her friend Claire, who is split into a bunch of different pieces, and she's gonna kind of guide us to where Claire is. But it was so strange following her down here, these stairs, she stopped and like had something to say to all the other robots. And it was just so strange to me, the things she said. She has a lot of pent-up feelings, it seems like, and she was, like, kind of letting them loose as she was walking down here. We're going to go back up here because there's a lot to see still, a lot of stuff still on the walls. I don't know if there's anything left in here that we need to look at. It doesn't look like there is. So we're going to go ahead and move on down these stairs and look at the things that we didn't get to look at our first time down. For example, families of bees are organized in an even more complex way. Here we see the transmission of rather complex information between its members. So this seems like it's the second part of a thing. You know, if it starts off, families of bees are organized in an even more complex way. Even more complex than what? Where was the first slide? What are you talking about? Is it related to this over here? Um, the lowest level is found among the simplest animals. Lowest level of what? They are only capable of taxis. Movement-based reactions in response to irritants. Light, temperature, moisture, and actively avoid the ones they dislike the most. Worms and mollusks can learn to avoid more complex, unpleasant effects. While making its way through a maze, an earthworm can quickly remember a path that contains a small electrical current and avoid it in the future. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we've missed something. Uh, oh, okay, here's a little bit of text here. Oh, visitor rules, dear comrades, please be very careful. Although the robots on display are harmless and have no battery modules installed, some of the modules have sharp metal parts that can cause injury. Do not touch the exhibits. And I don't know what happened here is I guess this is a type of robot that I haven't seen before, but man, it mangled this guy up. Well, that's a shame. Oh, it's another one right here. What are these? Is this is this a cleaning robot? I'm not sure what this guy is. Don't know if we've seen him before. And then here's another. I guess this is the same kind of robot. He's just in a different color. 
<laughs> All right, let's go on down the stairs here. Here we go. MFU-68 internals. MFU-68's mechanical parts are made of a wear-resistant PTA-3 alloy with a special polymeric cooling system to prevent its 40 centimeter circular saw from overheating. Yeah, this is really interesting. I guess this is this is polymer here, the see-through stuff. And it's pretty cool that you can see through it. Can we destroy this thing? No. No free goodies for us. MFU-68 Laborer. Weight 48 kilograms. Purpose. The MFU-68 robot was designed for the needs of animal husbandry and serves as a shepherd when grazing cattle. The MFU-68 slash L variation is an improved model of the labor laborer and is equipped with a 40 centimeter circular blade for felling trees at logging sites. Application. The laborer tra traverses rough terrain with ease and is immune to weather conditions of climatic zones from the far north to the Mongolian steppes. Can I even jump over this uh, thing here? Nope, I can't even get in there. Let's see what this says. Is it a cat? Fear of heights is also an unconditioned reflex. A kitten will freeze in indecision on the edge of a pit. It has yet to encounter heights, but it already knows that they are dangerous. However, there is no real danger. The pit is covered with glass, but the kitten is unable to comprehend this. Stupid kitten. Got a little room here that uh, doesn't look like we can get into. And doesn't look like there's anything for us to interact with in here anyway. Here we got some pictures of, well, deadly animals it looks like. Crocodiles, bears, other things. Maybe not so deadly. The psychological capabilities of animals have been rendered more complex by evolution. As a result, basic thought can already be found among reptiles and has reached its highest point in mammals. Okay. Over here we've got some birds. Like vultures or something maybe. An ant. The next level is the so-called perceptive psyche. Animals that possess it can recognize the shapes of objects and establish communication with irritants. Yeah, if this was in maybe a better order, this might be very enlightening. Another door here. This one's locked. Sadly, we can't get through it to see what's on the other side. Can't even look in the windows. Hm, I heard sounds. A monkey. Here is another example. In the event of anxiety or unease, young can hide by their mother's body and grab onto its fur. When presented with two potential mothers in a laboratory, a monkey will choose a dummy covered in soft furry fabric and spend most of its time near it, despite the fact that the rough, wiry mother actually feeds it. So let that be a lesson to you, mothers. Bathe. I'm trying to figure out what I'm hearing. Maybe there is something on the other side of this door. Your scanner doesn't pick up on it, though. Uh, let's see. VOV-A6 Lab Tech. Weighs 100 kilograms. Purpose. The VOV-A6 robot help scientists conduct experiments and carry out analyses in research facilities. Its anthropomorphic hand prosthesis have more than 100 sensors providing the high precision required in handling hazardous substances and performing exact computations. Application. The lab tech was given human shape to prevent negative psychological effects on living employees. <laughs> on living employees. It also serves people outside facility workshops, assisting citizens in their professional and day-to-day -day activities. I love this artwork. That's fantastic. Oh. Oh, uh, this little 
I can't really think of what these are called. It's down. Making me think I could get in there, or making me think he could get out, but doesn't look like it. Can't even really interact with him at all. And this guy... Okay. Anybody remember uh, toys called Micronauts? When I was a kid, I used to play with Micronauts. They were small, posable figures. It's kind of like Transformers, but smaller and, in my opinion, way cooler. Uh, this guy reminds me of a Micronaut. It's very, very, very cool looking. Really like that. VOV-A6 internals. The lab tech was created in the image and likeness of man in terms of looks and anatomy. The robot's endoskeleton copies the muscle system of Homo sapiens, making VOV-A6's movements as close to human as possible. The music has stopped playing. This is fantastic. Look at the wood paneling there. The shadow on the wall. So I, uh, when you start this game up, I mean, it says Unreal Engine on the load screen. So I guess this was all done with the Unreal Engine. And it is really impressive. We got this guy with some very cool artwork behind him. The RAF-9 engineer, weight 95 kilograms, purpose... The RAF-9 robot performs a full range of technical operations associated with production, operation, and maintenance of various equipment. Application. The engineer found a place not only in factories, but also in everyday life. It easily performs the functions of a janitor, electrician, locksmith, and plumber, freeing its owners from the drudgery of daily chores. And who doesn't want to be freed from the drudgery of daily chores? <laughs> That's what I say to that. And then over here... I can't quite tell what that's a picture of. Maybe some kind of insect, I'm not sure. What could this example of symbiosis mean? The carnivorous moray eel knows that the shrimp removes parasites from its body, so it won't disturb the crustacean, even if it's very hungry. Instinct? Learned behavior? Intelligence? We still don't know. These are all very good questions. A lot of these machines here. Host, host. Most of the underground exhibition center is lit by the sun. A system of smart light portals and automated mirrors transmit the sunlight from the surface of the earth to the most remote underground areas. Similar technology will be used in colonies on the moon and Mars. So yeah, here's the different levels. It's all about levels, Jerry. I guess these are the sun rays. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a mirror there. Here comes the sun shining down on everyone. Alright, there's a Tereshkova over there. Uh, something red down there. Getting ready to get busy. As we move forward. And we can't talk to her anymore, sadly. She's just going to stand there. But she will talk to us as we move forward. She's going to... Direct us... Towards... Her disassembled friend. And we can read the ground. Pavlov Experimental Medical Complex. Vavilov Experimental Botanical Complex. Sahalin Aquatic Mammal Science Center. Well, isn't that cute? Central area. Yeah, somebody's walking around down there, alright. One, two, three, four. Okay. Or rather, four, three, two, one. And then this one here we didn't see. Chalamet Machine Design Bureau. Oh, okay. So this symbol here, I can't go to third person view, but the outfit that our character is wearing has this symbol on the back of it. And I always wondered why it kind of looked like an MD. Well, Machine Design Bureau. Now, I don't know why it looks like an MD in English. But uh, there you go. So Chalamet... Pavlov, Vavilov, and 
Sahalin. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we got one of these... These guys here, I mean, I could zap him. And get him working. I don't really know why I want to do that, but I did. What is going on down there? Okay, got a nice little piece of music playing here. Is this guy going to come back around? Because I don't want him to run into me. While I try to read this wow, sign. Check oh. this place out. It's like a palace. Oh. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Okay, so our Again, character really likes this place. Staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstation. So we got a robot walking around down there. We got one further on down there. What's that sound? Well, that robot that we energized. Oh, there's one there. There's a guy down there. I don't know where he went. I thought he was just going to run around in circles on this level, but yeah, I don't know where he went to. Welcome, dear comrades. Welcome to the VDNH, the exclusive exhibition showcasing facility 3826's achievements. The exhibition spans four floors. Chalamet, Pavlov, Vavilov, and Sahalin. The VDNH complex is open to visitors from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on work days and from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekends. Do they have weekends here? Underwater world. Okay. So, we got this guy here, but he is inoperable. Oh, you ready to have some fun? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's just shoot this. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> oh, what's he running around for? Look at this guy. Does he see... Does he see me? Oh, he just got run over by that thing! <laughs> okay, so we could use those things to take out robots. Boy, he sure was... taken out easily. What is making that... scary sound? That was awesome! So, if we use these robots correctly, we could run over dudes like the... Uh, there's a dude down there. Now, he might be alive, though. He might wake up when we get closer to him. But I don't know why that robot was running, but he got run over by these guys. That was just totally awesome. It's like a rocket engine here, maybe. We've got... Ooh, neat. We can't get through this door at the moment, but we could see down the hallway there. Big old blood smear or something on the wall over there. Oh, this is neat looking up to some kind of cavern or something. Uh oh. Oh. Yes, this guy got up and then got knocked down again. <laughs> but uh, this robot will never, never keep him down. But maybe that's the sound I hear occasionally. Because I, I heard the sound and I looked down there and instantly saw him get run over again by this guy. But it's not... It's not killing him, unfortunately. I was going to watch and see if he stood up again, but... Ain't got no time for that. Some doors we can't get through. There's a body over there. Look at these flowers. <laughs> okay, over here we've got Icarus and Beluga Aquanautica. Oh, another door we can't go through. Cool hallway beyond it. Oh, here's some goodies. Grab these. And here's a body. Let's see what she has to say. Help! Young man! You must help me! Please! Mm, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you or how. You know you've passed away, right? Well, let's ask her how. How? You know you've passed away, right? Of course I do, young man. This is a rather obvious circumstance. Then what's the matter? You see, I am a tour guide. The last living, oh, I mean, non-robotic, oh, 
This is really difficult. I get it. So? I did such a solemn concluding tour before handing over all functions to these Tereshkovas. And I had a group of students. They underwent polymer treatment and were awarded a visit to the facility. Talk about bad timing. Exceptionally bad timing. You see, I am worried about them. They must be somewhere here in the exhibition halls. They may already be. Listen, I understand that you should be evacuating, but you can obviously take care of yourself. You are a security guard, aren't you? Something like that. Find them, please. They scattered when everything started. I can't leave them like this. I answer for their well-being with my life. I did it again, didn't I? Did it again? Uh, all right, calm down. I'll try to find them. Or, ah, uh, sorry, but I have more important things to do. Eh, uh, sure. Let's tell her that we'll try to find them. All right, calm down. I'll try to find them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell me when you find everybody, will you? There were two lads and two young women. I will be here. It's not like I can go anywhere now. Okay, then. Uh, what was she carrying? All these 6A things again. We've seen these before. Oh, that one has 3-8 on the side of it. Don't know what these things are. Can't interact with them at all. Oh, we got some stairs going down. Oh. Those stairs look like a trip hazard. Oh, let's see this, the black robot got up. He's walking around now. Get these little Pichella dudes. So let's say that I were to get a, get a, hmm, interesting. I thought a Pichella would come out. Here he comes. What if I were just preemptively getting rid of these guys, right? Now, according to this, there's no more cellas in here. So, what if I was just take care of them right now, so that when I go destroying these robots, no more Pachellas come out? Come on, now, I destroyed two Pachellas. Where's the other pieces? I don't get any more goodies. Oh, oh, hey, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. Is that all you got, dude? He, he was probably weakened because he got run over by cleaning robots, maybe. All right, took care of that guy. Not too much trouble, but I, I was not expecting him to come up the stairs right then. Um, I don't know, man. Get some free parts. Oh, here, here's the parts. So my charge comes back. Okay, get rid of those guys. Go ahead and loot them. Where'd the other one go? Huh, I'm not seeing the other goodies. Oh well. Uh. Hmm. This door is showing up as white. Um, indicating to me that we could open it at some point. Now, I was expecting to see some wires coming from it in the doorway. Indicating, you know, how we would open it. But I don't see that. So, I guess this will open once I maybe accomplish something. And I guess that's my... Now you can kind of see a little bit of my reflection there. Just a little bit, though. Icarus's might... Controlled magnetic fields. Another cleaning robot over here. The use of robotic devices in manufacturing is already leading to high performance indicators in terms of meeting and exceeding the goals of the five year plan. 
Since robots built at this facility began to be used in certain communal farms and factories, productivity has increased significantly. For example, the Lysenko communal farm reported harvesting 890 tons more grain than required by the plan, and the ZIL factory built 120 more cars than required. Now they're just sitting in a lot somewhere. Another door here that we can't interact with. Chelame Machine Design Bureau. I mean, I may as well just be a, a visitor here in this museum. Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? Come on over and say hi. Come on over. I love hitting them right when they're getting ready to hit me. And I also love it when I can kill them in two swings. So he. Oh, okay. So he takes off. Oh, he's coming right back. And he stopped. Okay. So I guess that's the one that I activated before and I didn't keep an eye on him. He just came over here and stopped real quick. No big deal. Okay, let's see. Do a scan up here. Whoop. There's something on the ground over here that I didn't pick up. Enemies in there. Oh, okay. Scanner achievement. Um, I'm gonna go down these stairs over here instead. Sounds like I hear bees. Okay, down here. I don't see any enemy robots in the vicinity, but these guys that are zipping around here might be a problem. You can see some tire tracks here, indicating that a robot has been zipping around here, but I don't see him. So we got more stairs going on down to the next level here. Attention parents, citizens under 10 should only attend the whale exhibit in the company of an adult. Oh man, this is the way to the whale exhibit. I can't get in. Pavlov whale. Medicine. So this guy here. There he goes. Oh, he's going way over there. So I could shut these guys off too, I believe. Oh, I could even turn this guy on if I wanted to. Well, I don't see any robots walking around here, so... I'm kind of thinking I want to shut them off. So they don't run into me. Okay, we shut him down. Now, I don't know if he's going to stay shut down, though. Whoa, look at that. The wall over there. Great artwork. Pavlov Experimental Medical Complex. Looks a little bit like Homer Simpson. Okay, I want to stop this guy from zipping around here. Because I don't want to get squished. Attention parents. Okay, again, same thing. This is... Whoa, okay, they do start back up, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually kind of bad news for me. Where's he go? Okay, he just turns around right there. Boy, they don't stay down long, do they? Don't really... Oh, there's a, there's a dude there on the stairs. over there. The other side of that. I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. Uh, looks like there might be some goodies over there. Here we've got the one about the cat again. Fear of heights. Pavlov Experimental Medical Complex. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, okay. Ribs. There's the skull. Another door here that we can't interact with. But I think I saw some... Something lootable over here. That's interesting. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, right here on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, he didn't hurt me. Oh, oh, he hurt me that time. <laughs> Oh, something important down there. Probably a part of Claire, huh? Well, there's this guy making just a huge racket. Hey, man. Oh, yes. Chopped him in half. Nice. Okay, this next level might be tough. I'm worried. Oh. Oh, there's a woman here. Let's have a listen. I wanted to die. Suicidal corpse. Uh, didn't see that coming. Well, did everything go according to plan, or you went on the tour, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, let's ask the first one. Didn't see that coming. Well, did everything go according to plan? Collier and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. The real one. Not the one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact you're falling off a bridge. But as I was lying here, I suddenly realized there is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It even sounds ridiculous. Yeah, sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was worried. Hmm. Okay. I feel like maybe the dialogue was a little out of order there. Uh, is this um, something to be concerned about here? Can't interact with it. Doesn't show up on my scanner. Okay. Somebody walking around over there, it looks like. So this level here is looking a little more crazy. Somebody over there. Some goodies over there. Let's go around this way. Got a door we can't get through. Oh wow, this one's maxed out on Pachellas here at Vavilov Experimental Botanical Complex. I'm not sure if I want to do this or not, but we'll see. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh, uh, hey, jerk. Okay, well, we took care of all those guys. The worst thing that happened was when I got run over by that robot. I don't know where he came from. Is this him? Can I destroy these? Doesn't look like it. So we got more Pachellas here. Crap, this is not good timing, dude. This is not a good time for- Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, crap, this is not good. I ne we need to back off a little bit here. This is not- Oh! Whoa, that thing has some reach that- Shocky spike he's got. I wonder if I'm hitting him at all. He's stuck. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's got a shield, too. Oh, I can't seem to pick him up. Yep, I thought moving that thing might get run over him. Um, oh, nope, it's not going to run over him. 
this is bad. I was not anticipating this guy coming out here. Now we got Pachella's flitting around here too. Oh shoot, he turned around just at the wrong time. Oh, that thing goes through walls. Hmm. We may have to use a different weapon against this guy. Oh, interesting. Um... What if I tried this? And we uh, squirted him. Okay, he's shocked. Okay, that did it. Gotta like this music. <laughs> okay, calm down, music. Calm down. Everything's okay now. Except for these cellos. Wherever they went. Okay, we got one over there. It's kind of way out there in the middle of everything. Can't quite reach him, unfortunately. Well, I got him. Man, I love that two shots from this thing destroys these. This thing's really powerful now. There's a lot of stuff down here. Can we do anything with this door? We cannot. That's some great artwork. Oh, look at this. Oh. Huh. Something up above. Not sure if that's something I missed, or if it's a place we'll visit later. Oh, we'll definitely be getting into that room later. Snack bar! Before continuing your visit to the museum, we'd like to invite you to stop by our snack bar. Salami and salmon sandwiches, tea, ice cream, tarcoon, cream soda, and Duchess soft drinks. We've got a snack for everybody. I don't see any. BR1 Burav, robotic digger. Oh, that's that thing that we saw in the Vavilov complex. It was digging holes and tunnels everywhere. There's a lock down there. Well, this is exciting. We're going to get to explore this place. Oh, man, that is nasty looking. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh. See if we could do anything with him. Okay, we got him. We got him before he was able to get his shield out, and he didn't hurt us at all. <laughs> oh, he broke that guy. Nice. Oh, what? A oh, it's another one of those locks. Luna lock, maybe? That's what it was called before. Here we've got botanics, so maybe this is going to unlock them. Okay, we, we need to find canisters so we can unlock this thing. We've used this before. You see the wire goes over there, so that's, gonna, that's how we're going to open that door. Oh, this door we can open right now. Oh, a lot of moving parts. <laughs> oh, dude. 
Oh, it's kind of, let's see. Nutrient film system. The constantly supplied nutrient solution is spread in a thin layer, allowing for increased air to liquid contact area. This is the most commonly used technique for growing early crops, salads, and culinary plants. Delicious. Is there anything in here? There's some stuff over there. Oh, there's a safe room over there. Oh, dude. Let's go over here. Loot this. Another one of her students, maybe? Yeah. Okay, this is new. What's wrong with her head? Welcome! Come closer! Be not afraid of my power. What the f- Charles, is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am the all seen I used to be a simple archive worker. But now I am omnipotent. I see everything. I know everything. And I am everything. Got it. Talk about rotten luck. Charles, this one's completely lost her marbles. What is this skepticism? Sergei Alexeyevich, you should be catching Viktor Petrov instead of doubting my greatness. An interesting deviation. This woman is suffering from polymer overdose. This can happen when a human brain is connected to a large body of data. Obviously, this is what killed her. And now, for a brief time, the Oracle has merged with the entire VDNH. Hmm. She can access all computers, cameras, and terminals. So she's part of the complex? With unrestricted access to everything? What? Huh. So, you're the Oracle, huh? Can you prove it? I have no need to prove my power to you, mortal. But I guess I could indulge you for amusement's sake. What do you want? Shall I tell you about your missing past? Or the kind spirits that look after you and will silently weep forever? But what would be the point? If you can't even see what's going on right under your nose. <sighs> That's quite a load of... something. Let's make this simple. Open this door for me, would ya? Will I? I will. <laughs> I could open all doors, both in the past and the future. Behold, open up! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oof, too much information can drive you crazy. Indeed. I'd like to compliment you on your resourcefulness. That was clever. I guess you can think outside the box. Yeah, yeah, I'm real proud of myself. She sure was a useful lady. How'd she find out about me and my mission at Vavilov if she never left the VDNH? That is a trenchant observation, Comrade Major. And a very good question. One that I have no answer for. Hmm. Interesting. I do wonder why our character was like, what's wrong with her head? I mean, I don't think her head looks all that weird. Looks any different than anybody else we've seen. But we did get her to open this door for us, which is exciting. Martian crops. Botanists, like their colleagues in other areas, are getting ready for space colonization. First samples of genetically modified plants adapted for Martian conditions are already on display in the VDNH's greenhouses. And over here we got one of these canisters that we'll just put in our pocket. We've picked up the Circle Moon canister. Looks like there's a bunch of little blue things off in that direction. So we've opened this door now, 
But let's not forget that we walked past this little save room here. Nice and peaceful. We'll do a save. Saving data. And we'll end this episode here. When we come back next time, we'll continue exploring. We'll go through that door over there that she just opened for us. See what there is to see over there. See if we can't locate any parts for Claire. And keep on exploring. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Let me like or a comment. Thanks to those of you who take the time to do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.